you doing? How are you, Tony? I'm doing great. Tamarack. Absolutely, yes. Now, um, when I think of you guys, I don't necessarily think of whatever that is I'm looking <laughs> at right there. So you're going to have to give us a give us an overview. First of all, yeah, mo most people probably think of Tamarack. They think of uh, bags. Yeah, I've got bags from you guys right. and stuff like. I think maybe you know, tripods or something. I don't know, but yeah, we do have a unique tripod called the Zip Shot as well. It's a very cool product. Um, but yeah, we've been doing bags for over 35 years, uh, from the pro to the consumer, and everything in between. But uh, we've also ventured into uh, a wireless uh, radio triggering system too, about four years ago. And we're in our second version right now, and it's a very cool product. Okay. Well, I like. I think it looks kind of cool. You've got it mounted on a, a cannon there, and yep. it's in the hot shoe mount, and it's just kind of pointing forward like a little gun or something. Yeah, it's. What uh, is it? it? Well, this this uh, particular piece is the transmitter, um, and uh, we also have the the full kit here um, that uh, includes the receiver as well. Um, it is a radio signal, but it is very small. It's actually the smallest uh, system in the world right now. So photographers love it because it is uh, very lightweight and non-intrusive. So it's not a distraction when they're shooting weddings and whatnot. Okay, so is this a wireless system for, for my big strobes that I have in the studio or for like little... Um, flashes, you know, or what? Speed what lights, yeah, yeah, speed lights. What? What's it? What's yeah, it going to trigger? A, it's a multi-purpose uh, trigger. You can uh, uh, trigger your studio lights. Uh, you can do your speed lights. Uh, speed lights like your Canon five uh, eighties uh, and yeah. your Nikon's SB eight hundreds, nine hundreds, whatever. Uh, but you can also trigger your camera wirelessly using it as a remote. So that's a cool oh. option to have. Yep. So you can to, you can and you can trigger multiple cameras at one time as well simultaneously. So your kit looks like it's got a bunch of pieces in it. Um, Dave, I don't know if you can get the Herwig. Can we get the we uh, right camera here. over there? Oh, we got him right here. Oh, we oh there you go. So, so the kit has a bunch of stuff in it. Right. So the kit uh, includes the uh, the receiver, the uh, transmitter, and then your uh, adapter plugs for your studio strobes. Some of them require different ports, and we've included those from the household to the mini uh, plug to the, the standard mono plug as well. So that particular kit would be one we would use with strobes, but if we had a, we'd have a different kit that we use for the flashes? Nope, it's all the same, uh, it's all the same uh, components. The only uh, extra accessory you would need for your flashes would be the uh, camera uh, or the manufacturer cord. They're all different, so Canon and Nikons require a different port, so you just need that additional cord, which runs anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks usually. Okay, I know, can I see that for one second? Yep. I, I know I don't know much about these, but that is a quarter inch jack. I don't, I'm trying to figure that, out, how do I plug this? This is the receiver, right? That goes into the white lightnings. How do I plug this into my 580 Canon flash? That does not. Okay, that, okay. That, uh, this, part, this part is only for your strobes, studio strobes. Okay, so how do I then plug it into my flash? Right here is a, a little sub-mini port that would oh. go from the cord one end in, into the camera into on the, the other, or the flash. Into or, the flash. Right, or the camera or, if you want to do it wirelessly yeah, oh, Okay, well. I got you, I got you. Now, so, so what is the now cost on this option? Uh, the kit is one twenty nine for the, the full kit, which is about half the price of anything else out on the market right now. No, that is that's a very good price. Well, wait everybody's one twenty nine is like the price of just a transmitter alone. Right. Not yep. like five things. And uh, it it is a radio signal, so it doesn't require line of sight. So you can shoot it behind walls, uh, around corners. Uh, it also will shoot up to a two hundred foot range. Um, the other unique thing about it is there's no on-off switch for it. So the only time it's actually pulling power is when you actually take the picture. So the battery life on the transmitter is uh, three years. So the, the batteries that you'll save uh, in that three-year period make up for it a lot, too. So It's not rechargeable. It's got like a little it's a CR, watch battery. It's a standard CR2032 battery, but uh, because it's not constantly pulling power, uh, you, uh, it has an up to a three-year life cycle on it. Wow, for for one twenty nine, it's it's not bad at all. Because a lot of people always ask me, how do we get into triggering our flash? How do we get into triggering our strobes without spending four, five, six hundred bucks? For one hundred twenty nine bucks, this is giving you an option to do that, and that's that, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so I have a competitor, 
a competitor of that, you know, and one transmitter and three receivers, and they were very expensive. Um, I see there's a transmitter and a receiver. What if I want to buy two more receivers? Do I have to buy the whole kit? No, uh, you can get the receivers separately. They do run uh, retail $99. So even if you were to buy an extra receiver uh, with the kit, you're still paying less than you would for two units yeah. otherwise. So, yeah, um, it's about actually the price of one unit otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, it's a great piece. And um, uh, we, this is our second generation, and it's doing very well. Uh, a lot of our Tamarack sponsor photographers uh, swear by it. A lot of the wedding photographers love it, and uh, even some of the sports photographers, too. Hmm. So, Where can they find more information about it? Uh, Tamarack.com will have a link to our uh, 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 MicroSync page, and we've got videos and little tutorials on it as well. What's the so. specific model number they should search for? Uh, just go, uh, You can do a MicroSync. MicroSync, MicroSync okay. just Yeah, that's the easiest thing. Any uh, other? Just, I mean, just the price alone. Uh, it's compelling. Because I, I, there I, are so many times, like I said, that people just... I, yes, can I we tell talk you about what my gear. concern would be? Go ahead. My, my concern would be, why does it cost less than half the price? Is, is, is it going to work right? That's, that's the only concern. But I mean, you can only... I can only answer that question by trying it, you know? Right. So um, you guys have a great reputation. You've, got a, you've been around a long time. It's not like a Kickstarter project that could or could not, you know, be around next month. So I tr there's a certain amount of trust that's earned through the brand, but that's the only thing that comes to mind is, it's so much cheaper, is it gonna work as well? Right, Tamarack is a very trusted brand. Like, uh, like I mentioned, been around for 35 years and uh, uh, you know, we wouldn't stand behind a product unless we felt comfortable about it, and our customer service is outstanding. So, if you did have any issues, uh, we want to correct it um, in the quickest way possible. So, fair. Sounds what else? Any any other big stuff coming out from Tamarack? Um, we're always developing uh, uh, new bags from for style and function. So definitely be looking on the uh, horizon for some cool new bags. Maybe we should get Tamarack to make the fro bag. <laughs> that would I be do awesome. I love your hair, by the way. Thank I like her. just Thank the name. I, that just sounds good. A fro, the fro bag. bag, and it has faux fur on it. <laughs> That's now you got it. Yeah, faux fur. That would look good. That would be. Great. I think that would be a nice option. One of my first bags was a Tamarack six twelve. The classic blue. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was. That's. I still have it. Yeah. it they they last for years. Yep, they do. Yep. I also have the Back Killer Six Fifteen, <laughs> which they no longer make because it was too big. The Pro Six Fifteen, I believe. Yep. I think yep. is a monster. You, you can put like a lot of gear fit in dead there. bodies in it. You and could stuff? fit everything in it. It's basically, you basically, it's too big. I got yelled at by an AP photographer. It's like, go get a rolling bag. Yeah. Because that thing was so so I, huge. Photographers are, are carrying less gear than they ever did in yeah. years past, so the bags seem to be getting a little smaller, but still carrying all the uh, required equipment, so it's great. Yep. Excellent. So. Yeah. Well, Tony, thanks for coming on all right. and showing us the new toys. Yeah, I like you. that option. I think Absolutely. everybody will be excited about that. That's a good price And we're also demoing it at the booth, so anybody who's here at the show can come by. And, and we'll the website one more time? Uh, go to uh, www.tamrack.com, and uh, you can learn all about the, the microsync there. Micro and sync. if they have more questions, I'm sure if they tweet at Tamrack, I'll bet somebody will get on that. Sure. Yep. Cool. And you can also check us out on our blog and uh, Instagram as too. So. Sweet. All right, Sounds guys. good to me. Thanks, thanks for bringing lot. that along. All right. Thanks, guys. And